Hey y'all, it's Candice. Um, I am actually, um, this video is actually going to be a tag um, from Purple Stars 1986. Um, I'll link her channel below, check her out. Um, just to share all of my Wet n Wild products, because um, I know she does a lot of tutorials with um, Wet n Wild products, so um, she wanted everybody to do a video sharing all the stuff that they have. So. Um, you'll probably notice that something's a little different about me. Um, my hair is darker. Um, after getting back from the beach about a week, uh, well, yeah, I got back from the beach this past weekend. Um, we went to St. Augustine um, Beach, which was gorgeous. It was phenomenal. Um, my hair was super blonde, and when I lay out in the sun, it gets blonder and blonder and blonder and from like here down it becomes this gorgeous blonde but all up in my roots I can never find a color that matches it because you really can't bottle the sun although we all wish we could um so i just got tired of the brassy unhealthy look of it so i decided to go with a dark blonde um so this is supposed to be a dark blonde and in um in person, it does, it has its own highlights. I'm, I, I have my own natural highlights, so that's good. It lightened it up a little bit, but I did cry at first because I hated it. Um, last night when I first dyed it, I thought, oh my God, it's so dark. I hate it. Um, but it just kind of grew on me this morning and all throughout the day. Um, so I'm still getting used to it. So anyway, that's a, a big change for me because I was literally like, a, you know, bleach blonde from the beach. So anyway, most of my stuff, um, are eyeshadows, um, other wet and wild stuff like blushes and things like that. I have not tried. I don't, I never get the powder, um, or concealer or foundation or anything from wet and wild. I think, um, and, and they might be great, but I think I have, to, I, I've been a Revlon color, color stay girl for a very long time. So I stick with that. Anyway, getting started. Um, all of these are just the trios. You guys have probably heard of all these. It's the Walking on Eggshells, Sweet as Candy. These two are my favorite trios. The most gorgeous colors I have ever seen. Um, and they wear really well. The Sweet as Candy I think is topping um, number one for me. The pink, the brown, and the brow bone color, which is more of like a snow white color. Um, they're not too pigmented, but they wear really well and they last long and I just love it. The Sweetest Candy has become by far my favorite. Um, and then of course, Walking on Eggshells, um, just everyday look is a great color. So I use that one a lot. Um, the next one is Silent Treatment, looks like that. Um, I use this bottom color a lot more. Um, cool as a cucumber. I haven't even opened it yet, but I cannot wait to play around with this. Um, it's just really pretty colors, unique colors that I think anybody could work with if you do it right. You don't want to walk around with like major hunter green eyes <laughs> or anything. Um, anyway, um, the next one is Knock on Wood. I've been using this one a lot too. Um, I love this, um, this pink color at the bottom. It's just gorgeous. Um, you just have to be careful because it does come off a little um, more like a magenta and like a deep, uh, it is a deep kind of burgundy, but it comes off a little bit more reddish on me for some reason if I put too much of it, so I have to be careful with that one. The next one is Don't Steal My Thunder. Um, I love the names of these. I mean, it's very creative, the names of their little eyeshadows. I just, it's just so cool. This is what I would call the smoky look, um, you know, trio. You got your black, you got your silver, you got the white, so. Um, the other ones I have are Petal Pusher. Um, looks like this. This is the one with all the eight colors in it. Um, I love, love, love all of these colors. They're so pretty. Um, and for $4.99, I mean, you get eight eyeshadows, guys, and they're gorgeous. Some are matte, some are shimmery. Can't go wrong for five bucks. Um, cause most of the time, like single eyeshadows, I think with like CoverGirl, or even Maybelline are like $4.49 or something. The other one I have is Blue Had Me at Hello. Another super duper cute name. Um, I love these two colors, the navy and the turquoise. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. I haven't used them yet, but I'm looking forward to it. 
Um, another thing I have, I've actually had for like two or three years, um, it's the Wet n Wild Ultimate Expressions, and I'm not quite sure if they even carry these anymore. Um, because every time I go into a drugstore, it's very hard to get Wet n Wild stuff because they're always sold out. Um, but this one's in 396 Sandcastle, and they come looking like this. Um, and it may be what these have turned into. I don't know. Um, but that's what they look like. That's that gold color right here is so pretty. You can really dress that color up to really get a really pretty gold eye. Um, it's really pretty. Um, another thing I have went wild are some mascaras. Um, this one's the Mega Plump. I love this mascara for $2.99. You can't go wrong. It is phenomenal. Next thing I have is the Mega Protein Mascara. I've only used this once or twice. It is a little thick um, when it first comes out, so you really kind of have to work with it. Um, the other thing I have is the Mega Volume. haven't even opened it yet. Um, I can't give a review on that, but I know I love their mascaras. Um, really great wear, and I just love them. I, I love, love, love Wet n Wild Mascara. Um, other things I have are um, two lipsticks. Um, this one is in 514A. It is literally like a crimson red, guys. That's what it looks like. And it's actually this middle color right here. It, it almost looks pink, but it is as bright burgundy as you can get. Um, when I have their sales, these are like 69 cents. So... You know, pick you up a few. These these Wet n Wild lipsticks are great for if you're doing like a Halloween costume and, and you need like a super duper red, you're being a pinup girl or you're going for the 80s look. Um, or even if you're just trying to find what color looks good on you. Wet n Wild is great. You're not dishing out $7.99, $10.99, $12.99 for a lipstick that when you get home you put it on and you hate it. It's not as pretty. Because we all know that the colors that they, you know that are depicted on each item are never what actually goes onto your lips. So you have to be careful with that one. The other one I have is 549A. Um, you would think went wild with coming up with cute things like Petal Pusher and cute, Cool as Cucumber that they would come up with unique names for these, but their other lipstick uh, lipsticks I think do have cute names, but that's what that looks like. And it is this one right here and it comes off like a really pretty brown, but it actually comes off almost like a after you wear it for a while it comes off almost like a, a deep purple um like a mauve and that's one thing i have to say these are great for like a one-time use dress up going for you know a crazy look whatever i don't like these lipsticks by wet n wild um what are you gonna get for 99 cents you know what i mean um i haven't found a color that i absolutely love um i thought i would love this more mauvey color because i do have a couple lipsticks that are similar to this and I love them um but this these types of lipsticks now, I don't know about their other ones these ones I don't really like too much but for 99 cents I, I don't feel like I'm being gypped or I'm like god I wasted all that money on a lipstick and I hate it so because at some point I'm going to use that red lipstick I know I am um even if I have to play it up with something else and add some different colors so um other two things I have are um one is the color icon and I think it's like a brow eyeliner pencil um, and I think it's in the color charcoal and they just come like huge pencils like this and these I think were on sale for 49 cents I believe so I got one um, and it's more of like a slate color it's right there so and the other one I got is below it it literally looks like a penny no it's more of a, a bronzy color um, and it looks like this and it's called bronzed and it's wet and wild and it's the coal eyeliner so this is specifically for eyeliner I'm sure you can use it as um a brow liner or whatnot. It is a little too bronzy, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, the wearability of these are not great. I noticed that with this, it just wasn't dark enough for me to do as my primary eyeliner. I literally had to go over with it um, with either a gel liner, um, my liquid eyeliner, or even something darker. Um, I think the L'Oreal is it the intense exact extra intense liquid pencil eyeliner which I love which looks like this and it comes off I mean you can 
see a huge difference there. There's the L'Oreal and there's the Wet n Wild. So one's much darker than the other. Um, so this is just good for, I don't really know what it's good for. I haven't really used it that much because the two times that I've used both these pencils, I hated them. Um, I just looked like I had eyeshadow. It just wore off. So anyway, um, those are all of my Wet n Wild products. Um, I'm not, like I said, I don't buy a whole lot um, of their products, but I love their eyeshadows. Um, and they're supposed to be coming out with a new line of um, nail polish. And I do have a few of their nail polishes, but I'll show them when I share my nail polishes, um, which I plan on doing here in just a second. I'm going to go ahead and do a video and share my nail polishes. Um, but yeah, so tag, you're it. Uh, share your Wet n Wild um, products. Show me what you have and what you do and don't like. Like stuff you've bought and you totally think it's crap. Like I think the lipsticks and the eye eyeliners, um, brow pencils are crap. But what are you going to get for something that's normally 99 cents? Or I think these aren't even 99 cents. They might even be like 69 cents, 70 cents, something. Um, and the lipsticks are 99 cents. I'm not complaining. I'm not. Um, you get what you get for the price. So. But as far as their, their trios and their bigger um, eight palettes, you can't beat these guys. They are gorgeous. And I've heard that a bunch of these can be duped um, for different MAC colors. I don't know. I don't have a lot of MAC makeup. I think I have like three pigments and that's it. Um, this girl can't afford MAC makeup. <laughs> so um, if I could, I would. But I just go with what works. So... Um, Anyway, in a, uh, my pan project update, I have not bought any makeup for three weeks now. Um, I have put close to $25, close to, well, probably about $30 in my savings account, um, which feels great, but it is very hard when I see new products coming out, guys, and I'll reach over there and be like, oh, I want to try that when I have like 15 of them at home. So anyway, I guess that's it. That's just a quick review of all my wet and wild product and just a, a really fast update on my pan project and that is it so y'all have a great day and don't forget to subscribe bye y'all